Welcome to a composites tip from the Ultralight Airplane Workshop. This time the tip is going to be about one of the most likely places in your vacuum bag that you're going to get leaks. One of the most likely places you're going to get a leak in a vacuum bag that's applied to tacky tape is going to be where you have a lab joint or 90 degree joint where you're putting in pleats into your vacuum bag. I'm sure you've probably noticed when you're putting your vacuum bag down on the tacky tape, if the bag has not been pressed into the tacky tape and just kind of barely touches it, or even if you just press lightly on it, you can still pull the vacuum bag back off. But if you put a significant amount of pressure on that vacuum bag, pushing it into the tacky tape, then it's very difficult and you're liable to tear the vacuum bag before it'll release from the tacky tape. If you're using your fingers to press your vacuum bag into the tacky tape, one of the problems you're going to have is that where you have an overlap joint, right where the end of the tacky tape is, or where you have a 90 degree joint where the tacky tape makes a 90 degree turn going up, it's difficult to get significant pressure pressed down into those little 90 degree joints, those little cracks down in there. Since your fingers really aren't designed to press down into those little 90 degree curves, you're not going to get as much pressure on the vacuum bag pushing against the tacky tape. Remember when we just said if you don't put much pressure on that vacuum bag against the tacky tape, it can come loose. Well, that's exactly what can happen. It may look good when you first press down that tacky tape down into those corners, but if you happen to leave your vacuum bag and tacky tape set up for, let's say, a couple hours or maybe even overnight, if you come back and look carefully at all those crevices, you'll notice some of them have come loose and there's just a hairline separation all the way through that little crevice down in that 90 degree joint. If for some reason you need to release the vacuum on your vacuum bag after you do your initial vacuum test, for example, you have a resin trap and you also have to use it to degas your epoxy and you don't have a good way to clamp off your vacuum line, then once you finish degassing your epoxy, whenever you get back to pulling your vacuum again for resin infusion or just a wet layup vacuum bag, Go back and recheck all those crevices, all those lap joints at the end of the top piece of tape and at those 90 degree angles on your pleats. Recheck those, press them in again if you need to, and check and see if there are any hairline leaks through those crevices. Since I've begun doing that, I've almost never had a vacuum leak. Well, I've hoped you enjoyed this composite tip. Here at the end of this video, there should be a little box that pops up that can take you to the playlist for more composite tips. And there will be some other playlists you can go to for the channel, for example, the design of the UWS-1 Ultralight, and for some composite testing and fabrication videos. Hope you enjoyed.